Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now in this video, we will discuss all the basic and fundamental properties of a factorial and we will also discuss how to calculate the value of a factorial for any given number. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now factorial is just a simple mathematical operator and it is represented by the exclamation mark. Now the exclamation mark is always written after the number. So suppose if we have a finite number, let's say n, then this is the representation of n factorial and it is read as n factorial or the factorial of n. This is a very important point that is factorial of a number is only defined for positive integers. So it is basically defined for all the whole numbers. Now factorial of a number is nothing but the product of all the numbers from that number to 1. So suppose if we have n factorial, then the value of n factorial is equal to product of all the numbers from n to 1. So we will go from n to n minus 1 to n minus 2 and all the way up to the number 1. So we have to calculate the product of all the numbers from the number n and going up to the number 1. So let's take an example so that you will understand the concept a bit better. So suppose we have the number 5 and we have to calculate its factorial. So 5 factorial will be product of all the numbers from 5 to the number 1. So 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And this value comes out to be 120. So I can say that the value of 5 factorial is equal to 120. So let's take one more example. Suppose we have the number 58. So 58 factorial will be 58 into 57 into all the numbers up to the number 1. And this number comes out to be 2.35 into 10 to the power 78. Now there are two special cases in factorial. One is 1 factorial and the second is 0 factorial. Now both these numbers are taken as 1. So the value of 1 factorial is also 1 and the value of 0 factorial is also 1. The value of n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial is equal to n. The value of n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial is equal to n into n minus 1. Now you can see that n factorial can be represented as n into n minus factorial. So both these n minus factorial will get cancelled and we will get the final answer as n. And same in this case we can represent n factorial as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial and both the n minus 2 factorial will get cancelled and we will be left out with n into n minus 1. So we can generalize the concept that we have just discussed n factorial divided by n minus x factorial where x is the whole number can be written as n into n minus 1 into all the numbers up to n minus x plus 1. Now this is one important point to remember that k into n factorial is not equal to k n factorial. So let's take an example. Suppose the value of k is equal to 3 and the value of n is equal to 2. So I can say that 3 into 2 factorial is not equal to 6 factorial. So we know that 2 factorial is equal to 2. So 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and the value of 6 factorial upon calculation comes out to be 720. So I can say that they are not equal. So thus we have proof that k into n factorial is not equal to k n factorial. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Oh,